We are now being told that uh, of the eight children that are reported to have been stabbed, at least three of those children are in critical condition. Uh, locally, our ambulances have been in the area airlifting those children to uh, area hospitals uh, for urgent treatment. Um, it's, we're still in the very early stages of this, but BFM TV, which is a very reputable uh, channel in France, is reporting that the alleged attacker in this incident is a Syrian asylum seeker. Mm -hmm. We'll have to wait. That's not confirmation from our side. This is what French media are reporting, but BFM TV have a, a, a very good track record. They are a reputable news organisation in that country, and that's the news that they have at this stage. All we've got from official sources is a word from the French interior minister confirming uh, this horrific incident that school children have been injured and has also said, according to him, that the uh, attacker has been apprehended uh, by French police who were quickly on the scene. Now, we're told that the children were in this area. It seems to be a local park uh, by the lake within this tourist town in the French Alps. Um, it seems that the children were taken there as part of a day out, an excursion to that area uh, when this attack took place. Um, it's, you know, it's a kind of, it's an open space. Uh, help from other members of the public uh, might not have been readily available. Uh, clearly, this individual was able to stab um, eight of these children and one adult who no doubt was probably trying mm -hmm. uh, to defend these children. But as I say, absolutely horrific information and also the ages uh, of the children as well. Um, some reports uh, saying they're nursery school age, three years old. Other reports saying three to five, but regardless, very young children, mm. uh, helpless in terms of being able to defend themselves.